Welcome back. In the previous video, we understood about universal load function. It is a function called load defined in page.js responsible for loading page data both on the server and in the browser. It's a great feature, but sometimes you will come across the need to run a data loading function only on the server. For example, if you have a private key as part of the API request, or if you want to connect directly to a database to fetch data, you might be using private environment variables which should never be shipped to the browser. A universal load function will compromise that and is not a good fit. What is a good fit though is a server load function. Now, what is it? Well, a server load function is similar to a universal load function in the sense that it is a function named load which returns an object that is injected into the component as data prop. However, unlike a universal load function, a server load function runs only on the server and not in the browser. Let's create one and verify the behavior. Once again, we have to follow a few conventions. First, as a sibling to page.svelte file, within the products folder, create a new file called plus page.server.js. Within this file, we define a load function that returns an object, which in turn will be provided as data props to the page. Now we already have that in page.js, so let me copy paste. There are two changes required. First, the argument passed to a server load function is different to the one passed to the universal load function. So let's call this server load event. Second, I will change the log statement to reflect page.server.js. And to avoid any confusion, I will delete the plus page.js file which contains our universal load function. Let's now save the file and head back to the browser. From the address bar, I'm going to navigate to slash products. You can see that the log message is not present in the browser console. However, if I head back to VS Code, we do have the log message in the terminal. Log function called in page.server.js. From this, it is clear that the load function in page.server.js file runs only on the server. The code is never loaded nor executed in the browser. Now I have a question for you. I'm going to press Command Shift P and disable JavaScript. I will then load the home page from the address bar. If I now navigate to slash products using client side routing link, do you think the products page will render? Pause the video and think about it for a few seconds. All right, let me now click on the link. You can see the products page still renders as expected. If we take a look at the console though, we don't see the load function being called. So what is happening here? Let me explain how it works. I'm going to reload the home page, and this time open the network tab in the dev tools. When I click on the products link, you can see a new network request has been initiated. This network request will run the load function on the server and fetch the data before loading the page. If you take a look at the response, the full page is rendered without any errors. So to summarize, a server load function is defined in a page.server.js file and is run only on the server. It is useful when loading page data that involves sensitive information which should never make it to the browser. Of course, you might now be wondering, do we need a universal load function if a server load function can do the same with better security? Well, let me answer that question in the next video.